Hi, I'm Mike Talevi from Siemens. Do you have a liquid, solid, slurry, foam, or interface application, and you need a point level switch to measure level? Are you questioning the technologies and probe types that are required? Well, Siemens has answers. I'd like to introduce you to Siemens Point Tech CLS 100 and Point Tech CLS 200 capacitance level switches. One technology, a selection of probe types, and the ability to measure a wide range of materials. Siemens' unique inverse frequency shift approach to capacitance technology ensures reliable, accurate, and repeatable measurements. Point Tech CLS100 is a compact two or four wire switch for use when space is very limited and comes standard with an insertion length of 100 millimeters or four inches. For applications with high abrasion, the optional sense guard is available. Point Tech CLS200 is a larger, more robust design. It has a measurement range to 30 meters or 98 feet. The probe types include rigid, cable, and sanitary or flange versions, giving you flexibility for your application requirements. But what really makes Siemens point level devices unique is the sensitive tip technology. It works no matter what the material type. Let me demonstrate. This demonstration works the same with both models but I'm going to use the Point Tech CLS100 because it is small and easy to handle. First of all, let's look at the user interface inside the switch. When the probe sensor detects material, it goes into alarm state and the yellow and red LED is lit indicating that the probe is covered and that the output has changed state. When the sensor is no longer in contact with the material, these two LEDs go off. For many capacitance switches, you need to calibrate the switch to the dielectric constant of the material you are measuring, not with Siemens. Here we have a glass with water in it. Water has a very high dielectric constant. When the Point Tech CLS100 comes in contact with the water, the alarm state is activated. I remove the switch, the alarm state is deactivated. Now let's look at low dielectric material. Here is a glass of oil. Once again, as the probe comes in contact with the material, the alarm state is activated. Another material. This is a glass of powdered milk. It is a solid material with a low dielectric. Once again, the alarm state is activated when it comes in contact with the powdered milk. So we have worked with three very different materials and we haven't had to adjust any settings as you normally would expect with a capacitance probe. Now let's see what happens when the probe experiences buildup. We have dipped the probe in water, then powdered milk, and back and forth until we have a bit of buildup on the probe. You should expect that the switch would remain in alarm state with the, this material stuck to the probe. But look, it only goes into alarm when it actually comes in contact with the material. What about interface detection? Here is a glass of water and oil. We want to detect the interface of the two liquids. I've already set the probe to ignore the oil and see it becomes activated at the interface. Lastly, in applications where space is a premium and there are no openings to install a point level switch, the Point Tech CLS100 can be installed externally and still detects the level. In selecting your next point level switch, Remember the flexibility of Siemens Point Tech CLS 100 and Point Tech CLS 200. It's another example of how Siemens finds answers for industry.